All right, so I found this video from a single mom that was saying that single moms should be allowed to spend their child support money on whatever they want. Uh, here's the problem. She's right, but it, it, the way she words it is always going to cause conflict because the thing with child support is that nobody audits child support. So if, even if you don't like what she's saying, at the end of the day, who's going to check her? So let's get into this video. A single mother is allowed to spend her child support money on whatever she wants and let me tell you why. I've been seeing a lot of controversy on what a woman can and cannot spend her child support money on. People are making TikToks about it, people are talking on their podcasts about it, saying that a single mother is not allowed to spend her child support money on her electricity, on her rent, or on her Wi-Fi. Let me just break it down for you on why a single mother is allowed to spend child support money on whatever she would like. So let's say a single mother goes to the store on the first of the month and she buys her child all new clothes and all new shoes and she spends $300 dollars on her child and now her child has everything they need but then on the 15th of the month she goes back to the store to buy diapers and wipes for her child and spends two hundred dollars right that's five hundred dollars now let's say on the 21st of the month the father of her child sends her three hundred and fifty dollars she is allowed to take money from that child support and pay her electric she is allowed to pay her wi-fi she is allowed to use that money for her rent because that money is a reimbursement of what she already spent on the child and it's not even a complete reimbursement not to mention a lot of these men that are paying child support are only paying what the judge tells them to pay so they are not helping cover the cost of child care the single mom is paying for just so she could put her child in child care so that she can work to pay for that child care and best believe those men are not paying for food for the child weekly are not buying new clothes for the child are not buying new shoes for the child they're only sending a set amount that that woman has to deal with so if a single mother is paying for everything for her child throughout the month and the father of her child has to pay ten dollars in child support a hundred dollars in child support or a thousand dollars in child support every amount is different and she decides to spend that money on her electric on her rent that is fine because she has already provided for her child all right so a lot of people won't like what she said because she says that you can spend the money on anything so a lot of men who are paying hundreds maybe thousands in child support they're going to look at it like oh so you can just go to the salon and you know work on yourself at the salon and not take care of my kid because it does happen in some situations i know we always would assume that if you're a mother you're going to do a great job of taking care of your kids but that's not in every single case there are women out there that will receive child support money and we're not talking about twenty dollars we're talking about a thousand plus uh two thousand five thousand and they look at it like well i got the money for child support but i don't have to take care of my kids there is a couple of famous people who got in trouble because they left their kids at home in dog doo-doo while they're getting paid child support to go party so it's not uncommon for mothers to receive thousands in child support and not take care of their kids and take care of themselves and so i think a lot of guys assume that that's what's going on with their kids and the way i see it is the only thing you can do is pay attention to your kid and just make sure your kids are actually being taken care of if you're paying child support because you can't no one's going to audit child support and they're definitely not going to audit child support if you're paying a hundred dollars a month and if you're paying a thousand they still don't want to audit it so it's kind of like nobody wants that job of auditing as long as you're paying it especially i think in the, the situations where it's being enforced it's actually pretty profitable for the states like people don't realize it but this whole child support thing is not free you know, a lot of people like to make it seem like they don't make money from child support. They make billions from child support, depending on what state you're in. Texas made like damn near five billion. So they make money. But I'm going to let a lawyer break it down because I realized something. If you're a feminist lawyer, then a woman can never be wrong. But if you're a fair lawyer that represents both gender, you're going to say, hey, well, yeah, you should spend the money on things that are a benefit to the child. So, yeah, Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a benefit to the child. They're going to need a Wi-Fi for uh you know homework um electricity yeah i mean the child's benefiting from the electricity i mean you're gonna pay it even regardless of the child but the child does benefit from it so i kind of understand it but um nails like that's that's where most people are just like come on like nails but yeah let's let's hear what the lawyer has to say all right so this first example from the lawyer is going to be an extreme situation of when you can actually do something about how the child support is being used like it would have to be this extreme for them to actually make an adjustment mom was buying drugs with the child support money dad found out about it he was livid 
took her to court, took about four months to get to court. And during that time period, he had to keep paying the child support and she kept buying drugs. Finally, he got custody and no more child support. But for that four month period, he had to continue to pay child support to her, knowing that she was going to use that money for something other than for the benefit of the child. You know, when you pay child support, you lose whatever authority you have to say how that money's spent. That money gets spent however the other parent wants to spend it, whether it's the mother or the father. And I don't have a problem if a parent pays their car note or their apartment rent or their house note with some of that money, as long as the child benefits. But when a parent spends that money totally on themselves, purely for drugs or jewelry or whatever they buy that has no benefit to the child, I have a problem with that. But the courts don't do anything about it. The courts are not going to micromanage how that money's spent. So once you pay child support, you lose all control over how that money's spent. What do you think about that? See, and that that's the problem with the court system. It's like, okay, well, mom's misusing the funds and then you have to prove that she's misusing the funds. And in this situation, it, it it's extreme because it's drugs. And so it still took four months. So the system is, is broken in a sense because yeah, you could be paying thousands in child support and that kid could be in a situation where they're neglected and, and people don't see it because men generally don't complain anyway. So then if you are the person that's receiving nothing in child support, more than likely you're going to be a woman and you guys are usually more vocal about it. But there are situations where some people do receive a decent amount of money in child support or a lot of money in child support and they use it on something that doesn't benefit the child. But as you can see, the lawyer says that there are things that they benefit the child. Like a lot of men don't agree that your car note should be paid with child support. I don't really get into it because I don't want to lose my mind. But again, it benefits the child because, you know, even though you'd be paying the car note without the child, the child is in the car. So it's like, oh, OK, I mean, you know, I look, I don't like it, but I'm like, I, I get it. I would never debate it. But I do have one more example from the lawyer. And this example kind of says, you know, he, he understands why men don't like to pay child support. I know why you don't like to pay child support. It's because when you pay that money over to the other parent, you lose control. You lose a say on where that money's going to be spent. It's not that you don't want to support your kids. Of course you do. You want to buy them food. You want to make sure they're sheltered. You want to make sure they're clothed properly. But when you pay money, hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars a month in child support, you lose a say in how that money's spent. And the other parent could spend it on cigarettes, on alcohol, on all sorts of things. And there's really not much you can do about that. Except in very rare cases where maybe money's being spent on drugs, illegal drugs, the court is not going to get involved. The court's not going to require an accounting of the other parent on where that money's spent. So you lose control over where the money's spent. And that's why it's so difficult to accept paying child support to the other parent. He's not wrong. A lot of people, they realize that you can pay child support. You want to micromanage how it's being spent. A lot of people pay the child support. They say, oh, make sure it's going all to the child. I mean, it doesn't have to. There's nobody there to force a parent that's re receiving child support to actually spend that money on the child. And that's why after a while, I was just kind of like, this is not something that I want to spend time fighting in terms of like trying to force the government to audit child support because there'd have to be a minimum requirement to what they would audit. And so if they were like, all right, well, we're not going to audit $500 or, or less, then the people who are paying less than 500 are going to say, oh, well, this sucks. I mean, they audited it now, but it doesn't affect me. So it's one of those things that I don't really see. I don't really see it changing. I know for a while they were saying that they were going to have the child support debit card, but yeah, that's not going to be a thing.